All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this cold cast presentation. I'm your casting host, Beef, and with me is Pablo McDad. I think he might have stepped out for just a second. I'll be right back, though, guys, and we have got a hell of a game three right now. Stay green, one and one with nice prize pool. We saw in that last game just what Creams and the boys are capable of. We'll see if they're going to be able to make a repeat performance here or if Stay Green is going to do what they do best and shut them out nice and early. Last time, looks like Nice Prize Pool went the old no carry strategy. We'll see what their strat is this time. As we take a look at the bands, up top we have Scout and Engineer being banned out by Swindamones. Warbeast and Tempest are the choice here for Creams and the Nice Prize Pool guys. Pablo, I hear you're back. Pablo might not be back, ladies and gentlemen. We can hear him in the in the background doing dishes. He's doing housework. Cast constantly being interrupted by pretty much everything. And now I think Pablo's back because I heard him pick up his headset. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm back now. No problem, buddy. I had to get a drink. I'll hydrated. I, f I forgot to get a drink. Pablo, maybe you should talk about the draft and I'm going to go get a drink because there was no time between the two games. Okay. Yeah, sure. Do that. So, hello everybody. Um, the draft. Uh, bands coming out is Engineer. Let's see, we do it from the top. You got Scout, Engineer, Tempest, and Warbeast coming out. Standard bands. Um, they pick up Pebbles, trade that for Rally. Then you got Lodestone, a Ophelia, Master of Arms, and a Fade. So, Coin choosing to go the same two core heroes they used the last game. Which worked out really, really well for them. Yes. So they're gonna do that. Are you back? I am. I am. Then you can take over. Back. Well, I mean, you were talking about the rally and fade right there. I love it. Yeah. I this yeah. Ophelia pick. I I feel like, I feel like with this Ophelia pick, they did this more to deny stay green than anything else yeah. because I, there's there's definitely good Ophelia player here in GG Slayer or. Pretty much whoever is going to be playing it. It's not going to be Meisty because he's not here. Um, I don't think he even plays for this team. But I don't know. Yeah. I feel like with this Ophelia pick, they could be kind of shooting themselves in the foot. If they do not have great early game presence out of this Ophelia, I feel like they would have been better off with something else. Yeah, I agree. Uh, although they have the Fade and Rally, which are great mid-game heroes. So hopefully they can pull that off. We'll have to see if they can. On the other side of things, of course, the uh, Lodestone Master of Arms and Pebbles, a strong core over there. As everybody's joining this game, man, people want to see if, if Stay Green can die. They want to see if gods can truly bleed. But uh, <laughs> we're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. Torture going to be the fourth pick here for Stay Green. Getting more of the versatile heroes to go along with Master of Arms. This could be a... A situation of both of them landing together it could be a dual support situation there's going to be the primary support for absolute legends coming out with the aluna pick i'm i'm getting antsy here pablo yeah and um, another thing to note is that this is like one of the few games that stay green is forced to play something other than a jungler if they don't pick legionnaire so which is not uncommon for them to have they always have one jungler on my nuts that he's very comfortable with i mean he has a really really good legionnaire so hopefully we will see that but if not it's gonna be cool to see how they handle that situation legionnaire please i, yes. I would be i would be very very happy with that legionnaire pick uh something tells me it's not going to happen now where do they go from here though i mean if they don't go a jungler i'm not sure I'm not sure what they're going to be going right now. I think... Huh, okay. So now how do they lane this? Do they defense a dual lane with a Lodestone Suicide? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think they will go the uh, the um, Torture and Pebbles mid, and then yeah. the Moa, or even the Moa Pebbles, both works great. And then having support... Yeah, Torture, yeah, and go with the Predator, and then they have the Suicide Lodestone. All right. Well, corrupt the disciple going to be the last pick here for absolute legends, and I have to say that with this style of composition, 
they're going to be running the rally in a suicide lane, I think, which means that this predator is going to get free farm, and it's all going to come down to the middle lane. Yeah, exactly. So they're going to run the Aluna fade mid. You're going to have the corrupted disciple follow top, uh, Ophelia in the jungle, and yeah. then you have rally suicide. So, yeah. as you pointed out, uh, yeah, it's going to come down to the mid lane, I think, quite a lot. Yeah, and, and how how well because Limp dominated a short lane versus Hag the other day as a lodestone, so we'll see. Yeah, how it, that pans out. And that middle lane is is going to be influenced a lot by how effectively GG Slayer is going to be able to get involved with Ophelia, if he's going to be able to get those yeah. early levels, if he's able to get the correct creep spawns, navigate the correct path to set up ganks in that middle lane, because Fade Aluna with an Ophelia Skeleton King or an Ophelia Minotaur or something is devastating. This should by all <laughs> means be able to get a kill onto either the support or Pebbles mid, but it's going to be about how effectively GG Slayer is able to do it. If he comes out three times and only gets one kill, then his farm is going to fall behind, and it's not going to be enough. Yeah, uh, although they have two supports on the Legion side, so with having an offensive jungler, I think it's going to work out, even though he might not succeed every gank, because they don't really have a Tempest or, or uh, def uh, a jungler who's farming at the same time. Um, although having two supports normally means that the Stay Green are going to roam like heavy during the early game so having the Ophelia is going to be great seeing how he he gets affected by that yeah and of course with both those supports could be a pretty big impact especially if they're able to get wards down now there are other options here they could be running the aggressive tri-lane uh, with actually a pebbles like stacked regen bottom or something like that or a, even a predator stacked regen bottom and then a lodestone mid which could actually shut down a Corrupted Disciple Ophelia top lane very, very effectively. Yeah, that, that, that's true. But I think they would leave the mid lane too vulnerable mm -hmm. if they did that. So but they I mean, could like... Lodestone versus a Luna fade middle lane? Like, I'm not too worried about Lodestone in that matchup. No, no. It's it's true. It's true. It, although, um, if you, the supports are going to get low levels and the yeah. fade and... Rally are going to have a field day yeah. if they do that. I mean, it, 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 can, it can work, absolutely, if they have good roam and they can shut down the the Ophelia even. So, it, I mean, they can do a lot of things here. So, we'll see what they, they opt to do. Well, all right. We'll have to see what their choice is going to be indeed. As uh, I apologize, guys, I should be playing commercials right now because it's a pause. And because we discussed this last time, there's a pause after every draft for three minutes. They like beef. You should play some commercials and make a few dollars. Like, no, I'm not actually gonna do that. Pablo, what the hell was that? <laughs> that sounded beautiful. It was. It, it sounded like somebody dropped a tiny spoon into a china bowl. So it wasn't my art project. No, I hit one my beer bottle into a <laughs> a, a glass. Into a glass that's very like well, I yeah. I hit my uh, well crafted. I hit my beer bottle into my glass of whiskey. Like, <laughs> guys, yeah. I'm sorry, Pablo's an alcoholic. I'm, I'm not. I'm about to go out, so I'm just. Oh, that's right. He's drinking some 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 beer and watching some good Han. Oh, that's and... right. That's right. We'll see if uh, I, I don't think you're going to be able to join us for the second series of the day, but hopefully you'll be able to finish up at least this game. And uh, we'll see yeah, of what we find. I won't, won't leave this, I promise. Yay. And I might be able to take the time right now. Because I've been spammed and asked to do it. So I might as well do it since it's paused. So here it is. Just for the people who's been asking. Yay. Yes, I'm Ben. It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. There you have it. Yay. Yay, Pablo McCann. All of his incredible impersonations, like the Peter one, the B Kid Peter one is great. Bane's great. Pew's great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's pretty much the best. Pablo's been like my favorite person in the scene for a long time. Ever since Tobax Aww. made the 007 versus Pencils video. It's great. Oh, stop it, you. Oh. Pablo. <laughs> 
Pablo's one You're of those awesome, you know masters. it. Thank you, buddy. Looks like the uh, Legion team going to be making their way up into the Hellborn jungle, though, trying to get some uh, wards down. There are going to be two Ward of Revelations on Master of Arms, as well as two Revel or two Ward of Sights. Mm -hmm. Oh, Torture. Oh, they might catch somebody. This is real, real deep right now. <laughs> they're like, they're going tier two. They're just like, screw it, YOLO. Get, get him. All right. Anyway. That was good reactions, though, from the Aluna. You're norm normally not used to seeing people there at that point of time yeah. in the game. But turning around, turning around straight away was just great heads up. Now, interesting. They did not choose to fully ward the jungle. Even the medium camp here... Z Freak opting to place a ward that does not spot or does not actually block the jungle. I don't know about this one. They end up blocking uh, both hard camps, but leaving the pull camp as well as the medium and small camps. Mm, I mean, it, it's okay. Um, unless there's a Minotaur in the medium camp, which he's lucky if he gets, but he's looking to go with the other jungle anyway, so. Now, right, they have blocked the yeah. spawns Z Freak themselves. Z-Freak blocking that one as well. Um, so I don't necessarily like this yeah. decision from Ophelia. She's going to be in a really vulnerable position if one of the supports actually makes her way over there. And right now she's going to spot out that there's nothing at this hard camp and probably going to be pretty salty. We'll go for the deep hard camp, most likely. Going to check from the high ground first to see if there's anything there and it's worth the risk. We'll go ahead and spot out that there is a Skeleton King and dominate it from the high ground now. So, a good play. And so she's definitely going to be able to get some farm here. Yeah, I really like the wards coming out from Sea Freak. That's a really heads up play. Uh, forcing him to switch jungles, but when he does, it's going to be rough anyway. Skeleton King is going to square off with the torture a little bit. And uh, these water revelations that were dropped in the Hellborn jungle are going to expire really fast now. Ophelia doesn't necessarily know that, but it will be nice when she does decide to rotate back to her own jungle that she'll have all five camps by the three-minute spawn. Yeah. And on the other side of things, it will in fact be a Lodestone Master of Arms long lane. Huh. Yeah. Um, it's not the most normal thing to do, but the new CD was going to be yeah. alone, and... CD is really good versus melee heroes, so yeah, just giving him a harder time. And of course, stacking I mean, they have the bit. extra support, so yeah, stacking the regen to predator in the bottom lane means that he is going to be doing pretty much as good as possible uh, against this rally. Ophelia is going to be coming in. Skeleton King's really on low life, though. Going to be trading some autos here. There's the Skeleton King. The King's grasp as well as the compel. Skeleton King going to go down, and predator is going to live so in the end all you've done is forced a potion and gave predator 80 gold interesting yeah um so he actually earned on them ganking him yeah that's something he is out but, of region yeah, like, but so he is, is. so he comes down maybe once or twice more but he's opting to go back to his own jungle now he is indeed fade 1v2 in the middle lane, already able to get a bottle. Sitting on 11 and 1 CS against the uh, Torture Pebbles. Really, really good job here from present 23 so far. Yeah, actually, they do a lane mid. Uh, they're just switching oh, they a Luna up now. Um, and uh, Torture, he started off going into their own jungle because the lane was pushed up to the Legion side, so he got solo XP, so they would have the level advantage on Pebbles, which was kind of smart. Um, but I like this trade also, going up with a Luna to top lane. Yeah, Corrupted Disciple actually should be able to turn this one around here in a second. This is the big bait. Conduit is on cooldown, actually, so maybe it's not a bait. Final auto is not going to be oh, there, and Corrupted Disciple will survive with a potion. That was a big flub by Lodestone. Pulled the last auto. Yeah, that's something you don't see very often. Limp making a mistake. Uh, I mean, he went into the fog for the last hit, so I think he just turned around when he was auto-attacking the ground, but, oh. yeah. That was a bit of a blunder. Still rough, and now Corrupted Disciple Luna have a very firm grip on this top lane. Should be able to farm quite well. Uh, the middle lane, Fade still getting experience, getting the last hit here or there. But in the bottom lane, of course, Rally is in a lot of trouble. No regen on him right now. Predator in very, very good shape. Actually could get a kill right now. 
There's going to be the compel, and rally will compel on out of there. Double health potions are delivered, so going to be able to use those to keep the experience going. Nice job. Yeah, I really like what they're doing on Staguin. Uh, forcing Luna to go top, giving farm to Pebbles, so he can farm his portal key faster. No. Um, now, Ophelia is back in the jungle and into her farming rotation, but she's level 3, has not been able to set up kills for either the top or middle lanes. She's going to need to really get some levels pretty quick here and then make something happen, or her presence is just going to be a little bit underwhelming. Yeah. Let's see how he hand handles it. Um, double damage rune on Fade. Not going to be able to use it, though. Yeah, kind of stuff Sorry, up like she wanted to make something happen, but Torture is invis. If Torture opens up, Aluna's going to be there with the Emerald Lightning and the Power Throw to try to counter. But Fate has to be very, very careful about this chain reaction into Impalement, which is what's going to happen right now. There's going to be a Luna. The Power Throw is going to be coming out here momentarily. Misses, unfortunately. There's the Burning Shadows, and Fade is going to not drop. One more auto is going to be enough. No counter kill under Torture either. Uh, things not going well for Coin in this middle lane at all. Ophelia came to try to help and just was not able to get anything done. Yeah. Um, the Luna going back and forth isn't really helping them because they're not like putting their foot down, so to speak, on one lane. So they're kind of struggling on two lanes now. I think he needs to decide a lane and then maybe follow Ophelia to gang. I mean, he almost helped there, but... What's a good kill coming out from State Green? Yeah, uh, I was very, very close to actually having Fade live with those bottle sips, but in the end, on Daylight and a dollar short, Fade goes down. And of course, this is now going to be a, a sizable resource advantage here for Team State Green. And the majority of those resources are on Chessie in the bottom lane, as they are going to get a kill on a rally. Work Lightning get a miss, but that's a uh, hasty torture along with his brother's support master of arms. And Predator bumping up to 370 GPM. Yeah, that's something you don't want to meet in an alley. A haste at torture with impalement. So, almost yeah. kind of. But it was a good good roam. Level well two used. Impalement as well. Yeah. Uh, he comes back lane, mid to David's trying brother. Trying to set up Pebbles, but no. Double stun going to be coming out. There's the Chuck as well. But Pebbles not going to be really in that much trouble. <laughs> it's just not enough damage and things are looking pretty sour here for nice prize pool as their farming short lane carry is only at 240 GPM. Yep. Yeah. Uh, as I said, it's a bit rough. As you can see on the uh, goal graph, you don't really have anyone free farming on the Hellborn team. Due to the fact that they seem to not be able to decide where to do a lane. Yeah, and of course, Sophilia certainly has not been able to contribute much at this point, which is exactly what I was worried about with this hero pick. Uh, getting under leveled early on right now. And we'll be hitting level 5, gonna get a second creep here eventually, but so far, not able to do much. Uh, although Pebbles is going middle lane with the assistance of Master of Arms, not able to get a kill on to Fade. Where's Aluna? She's filling up the bottle in town? Yeah, yeah. Can deliver the bottle. Top lane, Corrupt the Disciple, gonna be dodging right here. Turning around and manning up, not able to get the kill onto Lodestone. But uh, Luna gonna throw out a power throw. Not able to finish that one up either. Yeah, but as you pointed out, with the Ophelia being low level, um, play, having a jungler versus two supports is... The positive side of that is that you can farm the jungler and still be able to, like, have a support that's higher level and has farm. Um, but he's kind of on the same level as the uh, Legion supports, so it's not really utilizing potential. Yeah, that's just been uh, a result of really good roam coming out of Z-Freak, sitting on 3 0 0 right now. And then uh, Master of Arms, level 4, does have two points in his Pulse Cannon, by the way. That's the uh, the E, the passive. Kind of yeah. interesting. Must have been a miscal. I think it might have been. I don't really see too much reason to level that one up. It does give. 25% more range or 25 more range yeah so might have been some my nuts math <laughs> he tends to do his own sometimes sometimes uh lowstone in trouble up top though getting sent out by the minotaur and lowstone will drop so second kill of the game oh no one for each both the top and bottom lanes yo that's big yeah. 
That's Kill exactly the, what they need to do. Pred. Having Fade on, having his ultimate, they just need to roam with him. And as I stated earlier, uh, when the Ophelia ganks, uh, the Luna should follow him and stay on lane until he does that. So that was a really good. Was, those were really good pickoffs. Oh, uh, Fade in some Still. trouble in the middle lane. Pebbles is taking a lot of damage. There's the Ophelia ultimate going to be going off right here. Fade trying to get back to the safety of the tower and will. Pebbles is coming in, wants to get a chuck right now, and will get that chuck. Uh, a little bit yeah. of a misplay there from Present 23. Sticking around, trying to maybe get a kill on the Pebbles, and ends up paying for it with his life. Yeah, um, I liked the man up at first, but when he got the feeder, he should have backed off, and he probably would have survived. Yeah, and with the tower kill in the top lane, I mean, this team would have evened up the resource advantage if they had uh, survived right there. In this case, exactly. uh, quick deny in the middle lane, and stay greens back to 2,000 gold lead, sitting comfortable there. And Predator chose to yeah. go the Midas, so hasn't actually finished it up either. Now I'm going to finish it right now. Right now. Yeah, I think someone did the math on that before. If you get it before 14 minutes, it's still valuable. And, uh, I mean, they're roaming and they're winning the early game on Legion while having a free farming Predator. On the bottom lane so things are looking good for stay green yeah, they're still in pretty dang good shape they've got the levels double level six here on the supports as opposed to a level uh seven fade i mean she's not really going to be able to pick too much off when she doesn't have a clear level advantage or farm advantage only sitting at 190 gold per minute currently so yeah it's really just going to be a game of turtle here for nice prize pools they're not going to be able to create any pressure until ophelia starts to knock down these towers Yep, and they are having a, uh, they have a lane war bottom, which saw Fade going to ultimate so they could back off. And If you can stay away from Fade ganks at this point of the game, you're going to have a good time. Was that lane war just countered by the ward rev here? From yeah, Chiefs? exactly. Okay. They noticed he had a lane war when they, when he backed off, so well, good. Decently played there. Yeah. Ophelia has started to yeah. step her game up, now hitting level 7 at 270 gold per minute. Uh, Rally in the bottom lane, gonna have to use the compel here momentarily. There you go. He's gonna get out of there, but up top, Torture and Lodestone, looking for a kill on the CD. Yeah, I think he knows something's up, he's standing very passively. Nice. Which makes Sea Freak uh, the ward. Their lane ward, so we're even on the lane wards. There you go. Nice placement on that one. Just being able to snag that out, no problem. So it looks like we are just going to sit back and do a little bit of farming for right now. Just, of course, favoring uh, the Legion team perhaps just a little bit more, considering they're farming yeah. both the Pebbles and the Predator. The Predator having that Alchemist Bones as well. And Pebbles is about to pick up his portal. Base. Yeah, that's going to be huge for Stay Green. Um, they're going to be able to start pushing towers, and yeah, they don't even have to because they have Predator free farming. So, but they can get pickoffs on the entire map. And as I said, if they can stay away from the Fade Gangs, they're golden. They certainly are. Now that Ophelia is level seven, uh, has not chose to push just yet. Bottom lane rally going to turn around with a compel here, and Predator going to be. In some trouble, the Overload as well as the Conduit could be going off right here, but a TP comes in and immediately the Hellborn team going to choose to turn around. This is Pebbles with a Portal Key now, but he's not making his way into the bottom lane. Lodestone is there. Predator and Master of Arms are there as well, and Pebbles has no has no way of getting to this lane. Fade going to go ahead and scout out the Predator, but that's going to be irrelevant. She's going to choose to fall back. So, yeah. Another ultimate used without getting anything from it. Yeah. yeah. That's not what you need. You need each one of those fade ultimates to be at least generating some space. But instead, you got the pebbles that was still farming. You got uh, torture that was soaking up experience middle lane. Speaking yeah. of that mid, there's Ophelia. I was trying to make something happen. Uh, had to send back one of his minions, I think. Yeah. So, but they're trying to push now. Versus Pebbles PK. It's gonna be rough. It is, especially with no Astrolabe on Ophelia. She's still about 300 gold away from that item. 
Uh, so we'll be able to get it with the tower kill, but uh, it's not going to happen, at least just yet. Not before Pebbles decides to show off that brand new portal key and try to get a kill. Yeah, and if you're going to push like this, I think you should have the Fate Ultimate ready. Oh, there's the Chuck! And down goes Fade. Corrupted Disciple shooting a couple bolts of lightning, but it does not matter. Predator and Master of Arms heading over as well. They're like, hey guys, I want to kill some stuff. You guys want to kill some stuff? <laughs> yeah. And I kind of proved my point, saying that Fade, if, if they push when he has ultimate ready, he can stand like behind their tower, showing where everyone is. And if the Legion's side starts to initiate, he can kind of, you know, put a, a stick in the enemy wheel and just like stop the entire team from rushing in and they can kill Pebbles, but they, they start, choose to push when he didn't have the ultimate ready. So, I mean, and also, Fade is a 170 GPM because he can't get anything done with ultimate like if you're not able to farm you should be able to like get assist gold and kill gold with the ultimate which you're not utilizing so i think they need to change that as soon as possible yeah fade certainly would like to be getting those kills but unfortunately not happening as well just yet double damage pebbles and predator can be working on some triple stat ancients and this is going to be enough for predator to either pick up a elder parasite or be just about 300 away from St. Terry's. But it's going to be the EP right now, so going to be going big. Yeah. He's going to do a lot of damage. Looks like uh, Ophelia going to be coming up the middle lane once more. This should be the Astrolabe on the Courier. Most certainly will be. Got uh, some other items on there as well, including a Mystic Vestments here for Corrupted Disciple, who chose to go the extremely defensive route with the Helm of the Black Legion Mystic Vestments Steam Boots. Yeah, uh, I like the choice. I mean, they know they're they're down, and they have to make something happen. And oh, Lodestone Ultimate go. being charged up. There's Pebbles going to be going in. Corrupted Disciple going to be taken out. Not quick enough. They're going to be able to get Luna as well, but Lodestone is going to go down. There's a Bound Eye. Minotaur is going to be in there. Does end up dying. And here's Pebbles going to be trying to chuck back Ophelia, but Ophelia going to survive for now. There's the Burning Shadows on the two. Compel going to be stunning them as well. Pebbles going to be taking a lot of damage, gets the Slagmites, and Pebbles is going to survive. Ophelia and Nuke not quite strong enough as Ophelia is likely going to go down right here. Predator going to activate the Elder Parasite, gets the kill on the Bound Dying. Nice job doing that at least. But State Green still comes out on top. The three for two exchange, boosting them up to an 8k experience lead. Yeah, that was a huge ultimate from Lodestone. Hit four people yeah. together with the stun. So that combination was just insane. And they could easily kill them off after. Um, it was a good turnaround at the end from Fade and, and uh, Rally. Showing how strong the double stun combo is. But Team Stay Green gets it in the end. As they seem to do. Pretty much always. <laughs> pretty much always. They just They don't know how to lose, man. They, I mean, I guess they lost last game, but last game was more of like a what? When you blow nine buybacks yeah. in a team fight, I guess you kind of win sometimes. <laughs> like, no, I'm not even joking. I'm pretty sure. It no, was, it happens. I'm pretty sure it was six I mean, buybacks on that last team fight yeah. in the Legion base. Was insane. Was... I mean, won them the game, so I mean, worth it. But it was totally it was pretty funny. Ruined your voice. No, my voice if is anything. fine. Pablo, yeah. please. I, I, yeah. No, I didn't mean like that. I'm sorry. You have a beautiful voice. Pablo, I could do Angel. a Bane impersonation Angel. if I wanted to. Please do. No. Oh. It's not going to happen. Thank, thank you. My Bane is pretty good, but it pales in comparison to the Master. Oh, I'm blushing over here. No. Oh. Pablo going to be blushing because he's intoxicated. <laughs> no. Will be soon. But right now, guys... We are still in this game, of course. The tail of the tape, 18 minutes in, 8k gold and experience lead here for Team Stay Green. They got the portal key on Pebbles and Predator sitting on the Elder Parasite and Sanitarius and Midas. Um, Alchemist Bones. Gonna have the Insanitarius in just a second here, at least. Looking yeah, pretty uh, and the crew. Sorry about that. Um, I just wanted to say the, the crucial point uh, right now is that it's what the Legion, uh, the Hellborn team decides to do like after losing that team fight because they have the mid mid early game team and they're already behind by like, quite a lot so they need to pull something out of the hat to make this possible as rally almost died too yeah 
Rally almost dying. Oh no! As somebody gets sent back to town, there's the Insanitarius being picked up here on Predator, but Fade is going to be able to clean up those Ancients as well. And Rally was sent to town. Get his regen on. Team Stay Green, content to sit back and farm, not really expanding their resource advantage, but making sure that they pick up their big ride before they go for a little bit of an aggressive timing. Yeah, uh, I mean, they have all the time in the world, so why not? They have all the time in the world. Oh, Pablo. Yeah. Trying to be poetic here. You know. I don't want to leave, that's why. Right, well, maybe you should just cancel going out tonight and stick around with me. We'll see. Pop uh, I'll let you know. Pop open a game. bottle of wine. Turn on the <laughs> fireplace. Light on some candles, you know. Turn on some Marvin Gaye. Yeah. Oh, I played it yesterday on my stream. It was wonderful. It's great. We're singing to my viewer. It's beautiful. Middle lane, the tower is going to be taking a lot of pressure. Cliff Fortification is activated. Pebbles wants to go in right now. There's the TPs. Pebbles Portal is going to be deactivated, but here he comes in 3, 2, 1. There's the Lodestone. Compelled backward. Lodestone taking a lot of damage. Fade in trouble up top. Pebbles going to eat the combo. Does end up dropping Fade, and Aluna going to be taking a lot of damage as well. Aluna going to go down. Grab the Disciples, sitting off those uh, static discharges, but it's not going to be enough. CD is gone. Ophelia going to be the next one to be sacrificed. It's a green giant and rally could be going down as well this is going to be a full five man wipe here in a second just kidding ophelia of all people runs her skinny butt out of there yeah i think it's safe to say the game is over yeah, yeah i think that's what we calling right now swindermans uh oh oh uh oh i guess there's some drama what i don't know man swindle I don't know. We didn't we didn't see the entire series here, guys. We don't know exactly what he's talking about. Oh. Um, wrong face. Wrong face. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo with the BM face right there, guys. But that is <laughs> going to do it for today. Ah, Pablo McDad. That's not going to do it for today. That's going to do it for the series, Pablo. Yeah, it is. I mean, um, it all goes back to their laning phase. Um, I, still, I, I like the draft because it had like a strong mid game. But they uh, decided to move the Aluna back and forth between the two lanes, losing them both. So it was a bit awkward. But again, well played by Stay Green. Yeah, very, very well played by Stay Green. They take it three... In in a best of three. Wow, I can't talk right now, Pablo. I'm too Same. I'm too worried about like I want to go play a commercial after I'm done talking, but I'm afraid that my commercials are not gonna work because my video thing gets screwed up for some reason because OBS hates me. So I'm scared of that and it's distracting me. Stay yeah. green takes it two one right now though, guys. They're gonna advance into the winners bracket round of eight. We're gonna go ahead and pull up those brackets here in just one second. Um but right now, Pablo, that's actually going to do it for you, I do believe. You might be back, yep. but I think you're done. Might be back, but most likely done. But exactly. thank you for having me on. It was great. Well, thank you for being here, Pablo. As always, love having you here. Thank you. So uh, before we do go, guys, do want to uh, take a look really quick like at the next matches that are going to be going on here taking a look at the brackets so spoiler alert going to be bringing those up here in just one second if you don't want to see them turn away right now and turn your audio off so here we go brackets currently we didn't have stay green taking it to one and uh, they're going to be moving on to play the internet gangsters too much sugar taking their match as well they're going to be uh Playing against Lions Esports Club. Team Excellent going to be meeting up with Justice League. And it looks like Team USA going to be playing ready for a miracle. Man, TMSR versus Lions. Stay Green versus IG. Excellent versus Justice League. That's a classic right there. Excellent versus Justice League. Pablo, who are you seeing in these matches? The what? Who are I you thought it was done, so I started Pablo. thinking of something else. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. I said I, said I wanted to get your opinion on the brackets. Oh, yeah. Sure. State Green versus Internet Gangsters. 
I think State Green is gonna win that. Is IG, two to one. Does IG have a chance? Two to one. So two yeah, one. I think okay. they have a small chance. TMSR versus Lions. I think TMSR is gonna win. Really? Two to one. Interesting. Yeah. I think I've got. A good I believe in my there. boy Fitzky. Shout out to Fitzky. I think I've got Lions in that one. Um, playing with Pee Wee this weekend, they looked really good taking a game off of Stay Green in the SPHL qualifiers and almost taking the series. Yeah. Uh, Team Excellent versus Justice League. Mm. Team Excellent, I think they've been playing really well the last couple of weeks. All right. And finally, we do have uh, Team USA versus Ready for a Miracle. Are the RFAM guys going to make another set of miracles happen? I don't think so. I have to call in my boys, Team USA. I think I got to agree with you there. But all right, guys, we're going to be uh, taking a look at those matches. I'm going to throw a straw poll up in chat here. Vote for which match you want to be covered next. And we'll go ahead and get that one going in about the next 15 minutes. But Pablo, as always, thank you for being here, man. You got any shout outs before you do go? Uh, shout outs to you, of course. You're a great caster, yeah. and thank you for what you're doing. And uh, also, shout out to Bang Bang Crew and all the viewers watching. You're awesome. And check out my channel at Twitch TV slash Pablo McDaddy, where I've been streaming more lately. So thank you very much. And where are you seeing Marvin Gaye to your viewers? Where I sing Marvin Gaye to my viewers and do impressions. There yes. You go. It is a pretty entertaining stream. I find myself dropping in there from time to time. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Pablo, thanks for being here, man. You have a good night. Same. Bye. See ya. All right, guys. We'll throw that straw poll up here in just a second, so make sure to vote for your team, which one of the, these matches that you do want to see, and we'll be getting that one going here pretty dang soon. Until, well, until the uh, next series in about 15 minutes here, guys. I've been Beef. This has been Colcast, and we'll be back with some more Haunt Tour. Don't go anywhere.